<laughs> you like this game? Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to the channel. Me and Otter are just chilling, playing some raid, you know, living the life. Check out these graphics. Look at that quality, man. You don't see mobile games with this amount of depth, this amount of detail. I'm happy to say today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Forget everything you think you know about mobile games. One of the most ambitious RPG projects of 2019 has just been released. It's going to change everything. Introducing Raid Shadow Legends. Playing Raid is the most immersive experience you'll find on a smartphone. And really, it can only be compared with the biggest PC and console titles. This game is awesome and it's totally free. Raid has all the features you'd expect from a brand new RPG. Amazing storyline, awesome 3D graphics, giant boss fights, player vs player battles, and hundreds of champions to collect and customize. And getting this level of performance out of a mobile game is crazy. Look how awesomely detailed these new champions are. Raid is getting real big real fast, so get in early. Starting now will give you a huge head start. There's also a special launch tournament with crazy prizes. Alright guys, so go down to the description of this video, download Raid only through my link, and get 50,000 silver right away. And a free epic champion, part of the new player program, courtesy of the dev team. Alright guys, thanks to Raid for sponsoring the video. Let's get out to the fort. Go to the fort, bro. Go to that fort.
there's my plane again, right on cue. Right on cue. How you guys doing? Let me see how this hammock works out. I'm a little, a little crushed in here on the uh, on the old log, the old pole. Let's see. The toggle is going to come in use again to hold this lantern on my face. I swear it will. Look at that. Look at that. And she works just fine as a chair. My chair that I left here, I'm gonna have to start um, just taking this cross piece out and turning the seat sideways so it doesn't pool because it's like a water repellent material and it's there's a puddle in there. I'm glad I brought this little hammock. Regardless, I could sit on the uh, on the bed. I have my my uh, pad as well. Lots of sitting options, priorities, right? I hope you guys enjoyed the last installment of the fort. We. Uh, we didn't do too much building last time. It's more of getting re reacquainted with the place, hooking up some food, and talking a whole lot about flint and steel. I didn't mean for that to go on so long last time. But uh, yeah, we're back. This is building day number four. I've already got a few pieces back there, a few new logs ready to put up. Um, plan for today, just gonna hang out for a bit, drink this tea, and then go cut a bunch of logs. Probably finish the wall today. We've been out here for a little bit so far. It's the afternoon now. I do have a supper with me that I'll cook out here after I'm done, uh, done building for the day. Last time you saw the tools I had, I had my hawk with me. I got a couple comments about it. Some people liked it, some people didn't think it was very efficient. And um, yeah, I, I do like it. And I think it's efficient enough. Um, but today I decided to bring a little bit of a different tool. This is my council tool. Uh, was it velvet cut? I can't remember the exact name of it, but it's uh, maybe 22, 23 inches long, which is a nice in between. Like normally it's like a 19 inch or like a 26 inch. And this is a nice in between. I think this is the same size as the Les Stroud Wetterlings um, Bushman axe. But uh, yeah, this is this is a nice axe. It's made in America. It's got like a little wedge for splitting but sharp as the Dickens as well, and nice and light, and uh, thin handle. Thin handle is one of my preferences on an ax. It's gotta have a thin handle. It's nice, I do like it. I do everything with this, except for like splitting huge logs, I imagine. Even so, you can, you can make uh, splitting wedges and use it with this. You see it's made in the States. This is a little council tool logo on it. Nice wedge, nice fit. Almost five exactly.
All right, this is great. That wind is kicking up like pretty good actually. But I found uh, another tree that's been broken off right there. See the top of it's next to it. So that's a good candidate for sure. There's a really weird feel in the air right now. As I sink to my knees in the snow. Okay, yeah, there is. Like, I don't know. It got really quiet. Strange. Anyways, let's get this tree. That's a decent amount of logs, I'd say. About eight, nine. Nine. It's pretty good. That'll cover a good distance on here. Maybe not all of it. But right now I'm starving, and I think I'm gonna get my food going, and then clean these up and put them on the, uh, the old fort while I'm waiting. While I'm waiting for my food to cook. I got some chili, some dehydrated chili today. Some. Uh, a year old dehydrated chili, so I thought I'd better eat it. So this is old school camping chili. So I picked this grill up. I think at Walmart. It's not even a grill. It's um, like a rack for your your kitchen like to add an extra shelf in your um, cupboard or something so we'll see how it holds up I just like the, the size of it 
and uh, the height really too. It's perfect. I'm gonna leave it out here. It'll be my fort, part of my fort gear. I'm gonna leave, start leaving a few things out here, but this will definitely be part of that. So all I have right now is just some water in there. I'm gonna boil that up and then get that chili in there after that. It's almost boiled up. It's gonna get a little bit more twigs on here. That's the good stuff right there. Still smells good and everything. Two years old, one year, one year at least. Oh, that's a hefty amount. That was one of my double Joe days. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna give that a quick stir. Where is the spork? Don't mind the tea. Spork. Okay, 
Might be a little bit much on the water, but we'll boil it out if that's the case. And I can just even add little sticks a little bit at a time if I want. This is all cedar. I haven't really taken down any big firewood pieces today because it's not really cold. I'm just using the fire for uh, boiling up water and cooking food. So I've been able to just get by with the little limbs that I have taken off the trees that I'm using to, to build with. Okay, that'll give it a little bit of a flash flame there. Up the ante for a second. And I got all this stuff. And... Oh, she's hot. She's hot. All right. Okay, some of these are getting long, but I'll fix that later on. Getting there, we're getting there. I keep getting caught on this. There we go. I'll show him who's boss. Boss. Much better now, much better. that support pull some really heavy pieces here I might actually put this on the end because it's so much wider than the other ones put it here maybe actually I don't even need to go out that far this is where my fort ends here and I can make sidewalls ah I got so caught cool I got so caught up in putting the uh, final lugs on there I forgot to come check on this guy how you doing? Oh, she's sizzling. Okay, we gotta check this out. Oh, that's looking good. It is a little watery still, so I'm gonna leave the lid off for the last little bit of it. I believe it's all cooked. I'll try a piece of this meat here, maybe a bean. What do we get? We get one of these lima beans, kidney beans. What's the red ones? Kidney or lima? Oh, it's done. Soft, very soft. Okay, like I said, with that lid off there, the a lot of moisture is going to escape through steam, so it will 
um, lose its wetness. Right? Technical terms. Anyways, most of it. So I can still... Oh, this looks so much better already. I can still put that last those last couple pieces on. This is cool. Especially with the hammock in there. But ba bam son, look at that. Look at that. So very cool. She's bent. Oh, she's quite bent. Look at that. Okay, maybe we will put that out on the end. This, this one. I guess I could afford to get a couple more still. Like, this is what I was talking about. This is the end here, right? There's the bed, there's the end of the thing. That's the end of the, the length I need. Over here, it's right to the tree because my bed starts right here. But I, I could afford to get maybe two more here. And then we'll start doing the wall up sideways. See this this ridge pole is tied on and on the uh, the limb below it. She's solid. This is all solid. Very solid, especially with that uh, joist, the up and down piece. Oh yeah, it's done. Uh, finally, sit down and eat. I haven't had chili in a long time. I haven't had this dehydrated chili in a while. I brought this as part of my demonstration for my uh, talk at Canucopia. And then it was up in the top of my pack. And I said, well, might as well eat her. Hmm. Tastes like portaging. <laughs> so, I always get hounded about scout patches. I used to sell uh, scout patches and stickers. They're back on the Bunker Branding website, bunkerbranding.com, and then go to influencers and um, yeah, look at me. And there's two inch scout logo like this. Um, patches they used to be three inch these are two inch they look a little bit nicer on the two inch side and uh, the embroidery is a little bit better the stitching and stuff it seems I have a couple at home I like them mm. I used to sell them for $20 Canadian shipped period and there they're selling them for six bucks American so I don't know if they I think there's probably shipping on top of that as well but when you're doing it by yourself, like I was a few years ago, cost on everything is higher and doing everything yourself, smaller quantities. I'm glad I hooked up with those guys. I, I they have a lot more resources and get things done quick, which is cool. I like dealing with them. There's a few things on there if you guys haven't checked it out. These, these shirts, these are a distressed logo. Like they look like they're worn already. Uh, hoodies, shirts, hats, 
stickers, all sorts of different stickers, mugs. Oh, pretty soon, I'm gonna have my own titanium um, cup with a bale like this, but smaller that nests. An algae will nest in it and it will have a handle like this, but also a bale that comes over and a lid. And titanium, it'll be sweet. And we're gonna sell them on the website as well. And uh, they'll have my logo on them and stuff too. Like I told you guys a while back, I do want to start selling camping gear, actual stuff that we would use, right? As opposed to just merchandise and apparel and stuff, which is cool too. But what's cooler than having your own camping gear type stuff? So, and useful and like good quality. So I, I've switched to titanium a long time ago. My heavy cover canteen I still use all the time, but this will be mine. So I'm excited for it. That'll be a decent price too. A lot more coverage. I remember the second time I came out here to build, I camped out and I only had maybe up to like here done or something like that. And it snowed a bunch that night. I woke up with snow all over my bivy. I'm glad I brought a bivy. Bivy is good for the winter time. I don't tend to use it really much other than that, but the winter, it's nice to be in that <laughs> cocoon. Not, not Doug's, but uh, you know. I'm so happy it's starting to get nice out and walk on top of the snow for the most part. There's going to be a rumble in the Bronx pretty soon. Look at how that snow is packed down now, man. I've got to bring my tarp out with me. <clears throat> got it there. The snow makes food bits inside a little bit frozen and you can kind of get rid of a lot of it that way before boiling it up it's pretty clean a little bit of food bits in there. Food bits, the best kind of bits. It's starting to cool down a bit. Uh. So, we are going to build a back wall because I want this to be more of like a three-sided like Adirondack type shelter that you would see somewhere like the AT, like the Appalachian Trail or something, three-sided, open in the front and then also have like a roof coming off of it. Um, like I was kind of talking last time and then I was kind of mentioning that last time and then people said make a back wall so you don't have to have it so straight up and it makes perfect sense you're, you're exactly right so that's what we're gonna do um, the back wall will be probably higher it will be higher than the wall is now let's I'll show you as I'm talking here chilly so as it is now they're like on a I don't know what that is 45 degree um, but I want to bring them up more like this so they're here and we want to bring them up maybe like this but up there so I have a bunch of room so obviously because the ridge pole starting up there, right? So when they come down, if I put on this much of an angle, they're gonna be, it's gonna like come up like this and stop there. And then the ground will be, the snow will be gone, it'll be right to the ground. So I have much more, uh, much more head, head room already. We'll put a flat back wall down on there. Maybe even make it a little bit, because I can put a tarp on top of here. I've ne never once said this is a bushcraft shelter. I never once said I wanted to use all natural materials. None of that fancy stuff. This is a fort. I'm going to do what I want. 
so I can put like a, a like a Canadian Tire Walmart type brown tarp on there, like a poly tarp that I don't care about, and then it doesn't really matter the pitch because the pitch I always want my my pitch to be steep, because then it's, that's how it sheds rain, snow, what have you, melt, but with the tarp, all of that doesn't matter. It negates the whole thing. So have it way less steep, back wall, side walls that come straight out, and they, I might make them even longer to make like the front of it like a, like a half wall up, you know what I mean? So use the same ones to run long, have, have that create like a wind barrier on either side, have a, a big ledge to stay away from the rain, and then have two beds under here maybe. I do like the idea of the hammock. This worked out pretty well. I'm gonna lay in there and drink this tea. I could bring emerald here, you know what I mean? We can do like a camp here. Oh, but anyways, that's the idea. So thank you for, for the realization of the back wall. Of course the back wall makes 100, makes 100% sense. 100 percent yeah, that's not going to be for a while, man. The snow's not going anywhere. Like, it is, it is receding a bit, but oh my goodness. Yeah, and that only makes more sense because then when the snow's gone, I build the back wall, and then this is straight, and I can just do a straight shot with the, the sidewall, boom, on the left side of the cedar, straight out square everything up have these come these will be way off the uh, off the ridge pole forward and then I can even make a separate roof out there by tying large tripods or using forks forked logs um, hammering them into the ground and then putting out rafters lengthways line on top of there I could put a tarp up on top of there too but we do want space for the smoke to escape this is gonna be a decent size this is gonna be a decent size once this is all squared off right like right so comes out here a little bit more the the, the side wall is gonna pretty much follow where that cedar is on the ground out to here or maybe not so far maybe out to here build that up a couple feet same thing on the other side all closed in on the back oh man I'm actually really excited for this okay T that's what we're doing there she is so I got my Jade citrus mint tea, good for my tummy. Taking her easy for a bit on the old tum tum. I don't usually say tum tum. I don't know why I did that. Talking to my little baby too much. I hear a chainsaw. I think it's really weird. I shouldn't shouldn't be hearing a chainsaw here. All right, pine needles and chili dank. Sounds like a CD. An album, pine needles and chili dank. Well, I do have to say I'm impressed with this little grill. Let's see how long she lasts. Um, it's getting a little melty and bendy, but I love the height. It's very stable. doesn't taste that good with all the chili water. <laughs> Take a load off. Oh, oh yeah, no, this is totally fine. There's nothing wrong with this. I was thinking like the, the trees were too close together and this is gonna be too saggy. And then when I was laying that way, I was bouncing off this, this center pole quite a bit, but this, this way is totally fine. This feels real nice on the back, actually. The back, actually. The back, actually. Some back, actually. Yep. <sighs> it is cooling down, for sure. You can really feel it when you lay in a hammock, that convection whipping the warmth right away from the backside. Nobody wants a cold butt. So this is pretty good for four days of building. 
Look, I've definitely done this in a day, but on a smaller scale. But that's not the point here. And there was not this much snow to have to dig down and all that, too. That was a big part of it. I forgot about that part. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah. It's, um, I like having a work in progress. That's how I kind of did my last, uh... Bushcraft camp there. The one I tore down. I'm just going to chill out here for a little bit. I'll get back with you guys. So for next time, so my, uh, my seat's not wet. Just got this easy to undo Canadian jam. Slide it out. Just one side, and then, I don't know the best way to do this, I just don't want it pooling water, right? Like it's sitting like a seat is pooling water, so maybe I'll flip it upside down and wrap it tight to the pole. I could even use this paracord to cinch it down, paracord that was already on there. That seems like it'll work out pretty, pretty good. Back wall is complete. We have finished the back wall. <laughs> Finally. Let's test its integrity. Not too shabby. Parkour Joe. Hey guys, it's Parkour Joe here. Parkour Joe. Check it out, I'm carrying Scout with me at all times. Somebody, um, a subscriber had this made for me years ago and I have no idea the name of the person anymore. It was so long ago, a house ago and a baby ago. And a dog ago but I appreciate it if you're still watching thank you so much and I keep this guy on me all the time now it's my scoots my goots on my side it's made of like super dense wood carved I believe I believe I miss him I miss my buddy he never got to come out here the snow was too deep She is. It'll look so much better when all those are uniform sides on it. But it's pretty decent size. I'm really happy with it. Four days of work. Plus digging it out, like I said earlier. I'm curious if the ground will be always um, like a divot there or if the rest of the ground will get packed down. Thanks for coming along again. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back soon. Next video should be a Camping with Doug video. We'll be around. We'll be getting videos out regardless. Go check out the merchandise if you're into that. Give me a subscription if you're into that. Like the video if you'd like to. I'll see you guys later.
say a command. Call Doug. Calling Doug on cell. Calling Doug on cell. Game with Mario, it was a bonus bonus game with Mario. Two pack, Duck Hunt, and Mario. The little dog. <laughs> Shake and bake. <laughs> Shake and bake. Yeah, is that something we say? That is Talladega Nights. Yeah, you watching that? I just finished it. Oh my goodness. Um, I just uh, spent the day in the woods after after we last spoke. Are you home? No, I'm driving. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. Drive too. Right, let's go. You're driving? I'm going to. I gotta take my boy out here. Talladega Nights style. No, my buddy, my my dog. Oh. She can bake, Finnegan. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's nice so out. Next? It's nice out, and the snow is melting, man. So there's some there's some uh, some difference I can notice. Okay, one second. One second. Okay, here we go. Here we go, Finnegan. Oh boy, there's six girls here. That doesn't sound fun. No, that's why I've been hiding in my room watching Talladega Nights. <laughs> Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby. Uh, Ricky Bobby. What is this shit can be? I've watched this movie eight times. Probably this year. Eight times this year, eh? Well, probably not. Right I've watched it many times. Many times. Oh, many man. Many times. I'm supposed to... So you spent the day in the bush today. I did, and I built onto the fort. Oh. Yeah, I got the I got the back wall done. I made myself a chili, and then I was tooting so loud that it was echoing in the forest. You were what? So loud? Tooting. 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 Farting. Yeah, like but like a but they were they were manly. They, they're I guess they were farts. They were rum, they were rumbles. Okay. Yep. And it echoed in the forest. No. I swear to you. Get out. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I've been tooting all afternoon. <laughs> I, I'll tell you why. Farting? Uh, yes. I'll tell you why I was farting, though. Very, very crucial part. Mm-hmm. I came home and laid down at lunchtime, and my wife came in and said to me, would you like a fish sandwich today, or would you like a fish sandwich tomorrow? Is it beeping on your end? Yeah. Okay. Anyways. Yeah. yeah anyway. And she says, fish sandwich today, or fish sandwich tomorrow. And I said, fish sandwich today. And she says, are you sure you want fish sandwich today? I, right? <laughs> and she says, well, because I just happened to pick these little fellas up, if you might want them instead. And I said, pray tell, what are they? Pray tell is right. And she pulled out of the freezer a box of White Castle burgers. Oh. Now, do you know what that is? Uh, the sliders? The sliders. Yeah, the ones from the old Harold and Kumar. I have no idea. Yep. They go to White and Castle. I don't know that movie at all. I never. I always avoided that movie. They go, I don't know why. They go to White Castle. Okay. Well, it was White Castle. Only they're like the microwave version. Oh. With the onions. And... Oh no! I'm losing you, buddy. I'm losing you, dog. Are you there, dog? <laughs> 